Good afternoon. My name is Dean Clavan. I'm the president of Sea Keepers. Uh, for us, this has been a great show. We're very privileged. I think that the, the queen and the prince of the show, uh, Two Boats, Cakewalk, and Big Fish belong to members. Um, we also had a really successful press conference we were, where we were able to feature our scientific advisory board, uh, comprised of Dr. Mark Luther, University of South Florida, Ronnie Avazar, who's the dean at the University of Miami School of Ocean Science, Bill Reed, the director of the National Hurricane Center, and Fabian Cousteau, the grandson of the famous explorer. So it's just been a, a wonderful week for us. Sea Keepers is the yachting charity. It was born approximately 12 years ago by a group of extraordinarily well-known yachtsmen who got together and say, we have these magnificent boats, what can we do to better the ocean? Um, they work with the University of Miami, develop some technology that they put on their boats that enables them to capture vital weather and ocean data, which they then transmit without cost to scientists and weather predictors worldwide. Our, our challenges are not unlike those faced by many not-for-profits. Um, obviously, it's been a very difficult environment. I, I think it's been even more difficult for the yachting fraternity in the last three years. And really, the challenge for us is just to re-engage our membership, make them understand how vital the, the science is that we provide, how valuable the data is that we provide, and get them back on track that this should be the charity of their choice. I think folks are really charitable. I mean, a lot of people want to give, want to give back, and it's difficult for them to select where should I give. My view is that unless we save the oceans, unless we do something about the critical problems of overfishing, the critical problems of trash in the ocean, the eradication of childhood diseases 100 years from now isn't going to be important. Our primary concern on this planet has to be the salvation of the seas.